Hi guys, I hope you hear me well. Um, I want to talk today about uh, a little bit about muzzle training. Um, I muzzle trained my dog Remus, you're seeing right in front of you right now. And um, I want to see you how I did that and explain a bit to you why. Because um, Remus is not um, a very reactive dog of any sort. He can be a bit uh, yippy and snappy when um, bigger dogs get too close uh, and do not respect his uh, signs that he wants more space. But he's not uh, reactive or anything, but uh, I still muzzle trained him uh, for some different reasons and I want to show you uh, how and why. For Remus I have this little basket muzzle, it's uh, used in sighthound racing and uh, it fits sighthounds pretty well. It's flexible so it's easy to get him used to this. We do not use it often. He's also able to drink with it. I can give treats through the holes um, and he's able to pant in this uh, which I think is very important when you let your dog wear a muzzle. So, uh, Remus haven't uh, been wearing his muzzle in years um, since I trained him a bit with it and I pick it up every time I go to um, outside my country because uh, in some of the countries we visit it might be uh, needed to muzzle your dog when you are traveling with public transport. Um, I also like to have it with me when people ask for it uh, in those countries where it might be needed. You understand? So, um, what I started with with him is showing him the muzzle. He, he kind of knows what to do, but I started showing him. <laughs> He's a bit lazy today. Come on, boy, wake up. Why are you a good boy? Wah! Big titsies. I've got candy, foods. Um, these are. I'm not sure which brand these are anymore. I threw away the package. I always put them uh, in a basket. Remus, what's it? And I let him... Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. No need for that. Um, and I let him um, look at the muzzle. No, no, it's okay. And he knows what to do. I uh, give him treats through the muzzle over here. So the muzzle is fun. And the treats are inside of the muzzle. Good boy. So um, let me put down something on the ground over here because he's sliding. And I forgot I put this away <laughs> before this video. So that's not all that handy. Sorry about this. Technical issues. Um, I've got a very slippery floor. So come on. That's it. Good boy. So now he's sitting more steadily. It's easier to train this way. So I take my um, my muzzle and I give the food, that's okay, the food <laughs> through the muzzle like this so the dog can easily get to it. There you go, good boy. Nice. Good boy. And I also put um, the command uh, nose, which is nose in Dutch. So I ask him nose. Good boy! So, in this way, um, he is not afraid of this muzzle or anything. He doesn't want to take it off because uh, the muzzle is foods. And foods is, of course, good. So make sure you have something your dog really likes, especially when you start this. Um, I started him with this with, uh, with, with meats. Because uh, uh, meats and cheese are way better. Meats is better than cheese. Cheese is better than cookies, um, according to Remus. So, good boy! So, uh, with this type of muzzle, I can close um, this trap and then still ask him to put his nose inside. And I can put this over like this. Okay, nose. Come in. That's it. Nose. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Nose. Good boy. So, you can see the strap just goes over like this uh, with this type of muzzle. He is very, very eager to do all types of tricks right now. Which I'm not asking. And then I just simply slide his ears over and his muzzle fits well, like this. So, ga sit. Even wacht, hè? Nice. Good boy. So, make sure your uh, muzzle is um, spacey enough so it doesn't bump uh, to the nose every, every minute. So, you might have to loosen your muzzle if it's sitting too close to the nose or if it's irritating the dog in any way. Good boy. So uh, this muzzle is pretty loosely 
for a real reactive dog, you may need, uh, you really need a more, verwachte, <laughs> verwachte, uh, a more sturdy kind of muzzle, which are uh, plenty of. But these muzzles are used for uh, racing and they are used for, uh, you know, for me, it's also good for public transport and stuff like that. Uh, this will do. And it's for me also easy because I can kind of fold it inside of my bag. Good boy. So this is um, how I muzzle trained Remus and why I muzzle trained him, even though he does not look like uh, a scary dog or anything. It's okay, come sit. Sit. Good boy. You are wacht, hè? So, um, it can be handy to muscle train your dog if you plan on traveling or if your dog may need to go to the vet. Yeah, you're a good boy. If, <laughs> give me a second to put it through, okay? <laughs> so, if they need to go to the vet and may be stressed or a bit reactive to the vet, um, it may be easy to have already trained your uh, dog with a muzzle so they do not find any extra stress out of wearing the set muzzle. Um, Remus really doesn't mind his muzzle at all, because muzzle is cookies, right? Snacks? Oh. Is it a snacks? Why? So yeah, just <laughs> give me, give me that time. It takes some time and getting handy to putting the treats through the muzzle. But um, yeah, they learn it quick enough. What you, you can also do is put some uh, meat paste or anything uh, on the inside of the muzzle. Thanks. Good boy! So they can uh, directly start licking it. If your timing may be a bit off, they can treat themselves on the paste that's inside. Good boy! So yeah, this is uh, Remus's muzzle and why I muzzle trained him. Uh, I hope you had anything out of uh, this video that's useful to you. So yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you for watching.